Trade with Subterranean People in the Middle Ages. I've been reading a book that fills in a lot of gaps on subterranean civilizations. It's in German and titled, Jehem Unterwald, or Secret Underworld, by the renowned cave and tunnel researcher, Heinrich Kusch, and his wife, Ingrid Kusch. They have written several books on ancient cave and tunnel systems across in Austria, Asia and across the world, and have been lauded for their meticulous work involving radar, digging, and speleology. I've only read the first chapter of Jehem Unterwald so far, but that was enough to inspire this video. In their books, the authors have proven that prior to 1580, human beings were engaged in trade and business with subterranean beings, using a worldwide network of tunnels. Between 1550 and 1590, the Catholic Church ordered all entrances to caves and tunnels sealed and forbid dealings with the underground people. They were closed by official decree. From mythology, I knew the entrances were sealed off because they were seen as entrances to hell, but I didn't know when this happened or who did it. I also knew of many researchers who had discovered subterranean caverns and the tunnels that connect them. But I didn't know that in some parts of the world there were legal documents, not only on the sealing of holes, but formal business records and property records preserved from the Middle Ages, dealing with relations to the subterranean world. That's much more tangible than the mythology I had used. I previously said the sealing and destruction of tunnels happened thousands of years ago. That may be true, but I now understand that a worldwide sealing also took place as recent as 14 generations ago. As it turns out, there are many families that have documents of business dealings and events ranging back 14 generations and more. As I said previously, events of mythology are much more recent. I took a picture of one of several pieces of evidence from the book. Heinrich and Ingrid Kusch have used documents by the Austrian royal family, Worm, which are stored at the Royal Archives in Vienna. This one is dated 1592. The text is in German. The text says that there was a mineral prospector, Strahler, by the name of Arbogast, who discovered a tunnel at an Austrian town called Kalwang. The town is still there today. He promptly made contact to a subterranean tribe called Cayman. Soon thereafter, he began a mutually useful business trade with the Cayman. But the church outlawed business relations with subterranean folk because they were worried about the welfare of the general public and because of certain remarkable events. The authors found tons of corroborating information from around the time. A document from the year 1580 shows that the church ordered the filling of holes, caves, and tunnels below the town of Klosterneuburg, Austria. According to the author, these had been built thousands of years ago. The church ordered the ceilings to be double cemented and flooded, just to make sure nobody ever crept up from below again. These works were to be overseen by guards and civilians to be kept far away. The official order to close off subterranean civilizations was given at the Council of Trent in 1550. It was approved of and enforced by the Catholic Church in the West and the Orthodox Church in the East. A representative of the Ottoman Empire was also present. The entire Christian world of the time and the Muslim world agreed to seal off the gates to hell. The council decided not to publicize the decree. Apparently nothing unusual in those times. Big decisions were kept in church archives, but the public rarely got to see them. Even so, there are reports of church sermons from the time in which people were told to close the holes, caves, mounds and caverns on their property. It was an ongoing campaign that lasted for hundreds of years, and even possibly to this day, in secret. Royal families around the world were directed to make sure the caves, caverns and holes in their areas are sealed off. Old documents mention trade dealings with other subterranean people beside the Cayman. There is a race called the Uni, another called the Stirps, and a people called Sanadi. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. The remarkable events that inspired the sealing off of the underworld happened in 1510, 1520, 1561 and 1566, according to old documents. These were sky events or celestial phenomena that were recorded at the time. I've already talked one of these in my previous video a few years ago. This is the 1566 phenomena over Basel, Switzerland. 
The celestial phenomena were taken as a sign by authorities to seal the caves. The authors Kush interpret the sealing of holes and the outlawing of business with subterraneans as a negative event. They say the Catholic Church is to blame for one of the greatest historical cover-ups of all time. But if I play not devil's advocate but heaven's advocate here, then sealing off the gates of hell might not be such a bad thing. But I disagree with the massive secrecy around this. Even today, most people still reside at the information level of peasants. The ruling elite is still acting as a gatekeeper of knowledge, severely limiting the range of acceptable viewpoints. If the Vatican were truly a positive institution, they'd release the knowledge in their archives to the world, instead of keeping people ignorant. The whole thing reminds me of this Bible verse. Then I saw an angel coming down from heaven, having the key to the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. He laid hold of the dragon, that serpent of old, who is the devil and Satan, and bound him for a thousand years. And he cast him into the bottomless pit, and shut him up, and set a seal on him, so that he should deceive the nations no more, till the thousand years were finished. But after these things, he must be released for a little while. Revelation 20, verse 1 to 3. The book of Revelation is said to refer to the end times, our future. Plot twist. What if this refers to something that has already happened? If the bottomless pit was sealed around 1580, for 1000 years, that would mean until 2580. Or maybe the verse is about the future, and the events in the 1500s were there to make sure the underworld stays sealed. Or, another possibility. The church took it upon themselves to fulfill the prophecy. Who knows? I don't have enough big picture knowledge to say. If you guys find this video interesting, I'll make a part 2. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.